A new Surfshark Nexus feature is now live. What should Surfshark focus on in 2023? Let's discuss. Guys, I called it. A couple of videos back, I said that Surfshark might be preparing a big update based on Surfshark's Nexus technology. And actually, the first feature that used Nexus came out all the way back in February of 2022. And it was the IP rotator. It essentially rotates your IP address every 10 to 15 minutes, making you more secure online. Again, this kind of functionality was only possible thanks to Nexus technology. And today, there's yet another new and exciting feature coming, and that is Dynamic Multi-Hop. So if you're not already familiar with the Multi-Hop feature, it can be found at the top of the VPN locations list. The way Multi-Hop, or sometimes also known as Double VPN works, is that it routes your connection through two different VPN servers instead of just one. This makes it very hard to track you by logging VPN use and website access times. Two layers of security also means that it's way less likely that your data will ever be stolen. And in some very rare cases, multi-hop can even speed up your VPN connection. Though, again, I have to stress that it is rarely the case. In fact, it is far more likely that you will experience slower VPN speeds since your connection has to travel one extra VPN server further than compared to just connecting to one. And speaking of which, let's talk about those servers since now with Dynamic Multi-Hop, you can create your own pair of Multi-Hop locations. To get the Dynamic Multi-Hop, make sure to update your app. At the moment, this is only available on iOS. However, it will be coming to Windows, macOS, and Android apps very soon. To make a location pair, first go to Multi-Hop section and click on Create here at the bottom. And first, select your entry location through which your initial connection will go through. The cool thing is that you can even select fastest location or nearest country. After that, pick your exit location, which will also be the country visible to websites and services that you use. So if you want to bypass geo-blocking in a certain location, or country, then make sure to select the right one as your exit location. And just like that, your multi-hop connection is created. Just click connect and enjoy browsing. Afterwards, in the locations list, you'll see your created multi-hop pairs and we'll be able to delete them if you no longer use them. One other quality of life feature to mention is that you can also change your exit location right from the main screen without having to go into the multi-hop settings, which will save you a ton of time. So that's dynamic multi-hop in a nutshell. It's a great update for anyone who used multi-hop before, since before this update, you could only use just pre-selected location pairs. But with the ability to pick your own locations, maybe some of you will be more keen to try using it. Which actually brings up a great question. Who should use multi-hop? Well, in my opinion, multi-hop is perfect for when you really need additional security and privacy. This could be as simple as just wanting to be more private, or you might be an activist or a journalist who wants to stay away as far as possible from governmental tracking. Otherwise, using just the regular VPN servers from the locations or static IP list is totally fine if you're just casually browsing the web. But now it's time for our community poll of the week. In case you missed it, we do various community polls related to Surfshark, CyberSec, and Tech Daily on our channel, so make sure to catch your votes when a new poll is released. This time, I asked you guys what you think Surfshark should focus on the most in 2023. Maybe you want more VPN features, more quality of life updates, or just better general VPN server stability. And surprisingly, most of you voted for improving the latter, which is stability and speed of VPN servers. Now, personally, I rarely have any kind of connection issues with Surfshark, so instead, I really want to see more VPN features. Maybe expanding on the Surfshark Nexus technology, similar to what Dynamic Multihop is doing here. But at the same time, depending on your location, network settings, VPN server you're using, and many other factors, you can have a bad connection with a VPN. If that's the case, I highly recommend checking one of our guides for improving your VPN stability. I will leave a full playlist of our guides here on the YouTube card. And if you haven't voted in this poll, then let me know in the comments about your thoughts on what Surfshark should focus on in 2023. But that'll be all for me. Take care.